Out for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2008 Chevrolet Suburban LT3 four wheel drive. Silver on the outside with black leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory DVD player, factory power moonroof. The navigation screen also plays DVDs. 20 inch polished wheels, power tailgate, and a number of, uh, of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It also has four brand new Michelin tires. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. I have it running right now because I got the DVD player on. I wanted to see you, uh, show you that playing. And as you can see, the same movie is playing on your navigation screen. When it's finished going around, we'll get inside and show you the interior options. Privacy tinted glass, roof rack with crossbars, four-wheel disc brakes, tire, uh, tire pressure monitoring sensors, running boards, power folding mirrors, an original window sticker of about $53,000. The door panels are all charcoal black. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors. You got uh, heated seats with memory for up to two drivers. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off at sunrise. Again, like I said before, it's a four-wheel drive, select four-wheel drive. You got dual power seat, power recline, and lumbar support. You got curtain side airbags on the front post, the middle post, and there's another one on this post right here. Again, roof rack with crossbars that slide up, slide up and down the side rails. Let me go ahead and get inside, show you the interior options. Let me lower the AC just a little bit so you can hear me talk. That's probably better right there. All right, let's start off with the moonroof so we can get a, bit, a little bit of lighting for the video. It is a, it is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. We're going to first... Hold on a second here. All right. Hang on, we got to tilt it down first. There we go. All right, I had somebody had left it uh, tilted open. All right, it's the one touch, as you can see, you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. It opens about three-fourths of the way, and then you hit it one more time for the last fourth. All right, let's move this mirror here. Okay, so there is your navigation screen right now. I got it playing a movie. And you can do this only when the car is in park. Although they do sell some uh, stuff to kind of fool the vehicle to think you're in park, so you can play any while play you're driving. Although I don't really recommend it. All right, uh, navigation. When you put the vehicle in reverse, you get your uh, color back to camera, and that along with the parking sensor should help you avoid any accidents going back and up. Alright, um, let's put it back in park here. Alright, um, let's see here. The vehicle has uh, 86,142 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine here. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine tune, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. All right, um, let's see what else here. Let's start from the bottom up. Okay, you got a uh, cup holders here in the center and this piece is actually re removable. So if you like spill coffee, soda, milk, whatever, you can take it out, hit it with a hose and bring it back in. And you have two positions you can put it. You can put it here or here. All right, you got a couple of cigarette lighter adapters here uh, for your chargers. This is for your rear window wash. This is to disable your traction control. This one is to disable the parking sensors. This one here is your power adjustable pedals, which allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Dual climate control. What do I mean by that? Uh, for example, I can put the passenger side, let's say, at 65 degrees, or the driver's side is at 60. And all that really means is that the AC vents on the right-hand side of the vehicle will blow at 65, while the ones on the left-hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60, or whatever it is you set it to. 
and put it back on. Um, the maximum look is real hot. And as you can see here, you get a uh, touch screen. You can change it here. For example, if I want to watch a movie, I can just press here. And uh, give it a chance here to go to full screen. All right. Let's press play. Anyway, you already seen the movie playing. Um, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and move on to something else. Let's go ahead and move on to a, let's put some music on. Okay. Let's find a station that's playing music, not commercials. All right, you can raise and lower the volume right from the string wheel. Lower it. Mute it here in the center. These buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. This one here is your seek button that takes you to the next available station. This one here is your source button, which helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM. And yes, this vehicle is XM capable, although right now it's probably on preview mode because you have to sign up. Actually, no, it's active. But at some point, you're going to lose uh, this. This is a previous owner subscription that he hasn't canceled yet, okay? Or DVD mode or uh, auxiliary mode, which is your iPod up here. It does have the uh, Bose stereo sound system, okay? On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you got your cruise control and uh, you got a leather wrapped steering wheel. If you're shopping around for a Tahoe, Suburban, Avalanche, you're going to notice that these panels here, these are made out of plastic and they have like a rubber film on top of it. And most of the ones you're going to see, this area here is going to look pretty ugly. It's going to be mostly shiny areas with little spots because it, it peels from the use, of everyday use from the gentleman's or ladies' nails, okay? Uh, and I want you to see that these are in brand new condition. Not a single blemish. And you got a leather wrap string wheel. This vehicle um, has the active fuel management, which will save you a few bucks on, uh, on fuel. It does have also a towing haul mode uh, switch at the end of the lever here. And let me show you how that goes. Okay, this is your towing haul mode. When you press that, a yellow wagon is going to appear on your tachometer area here to let you know you're in towing haul mode, which disables the overdrive and um, it makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press it again. The wagon, yellow wagon goes away. You're back into normal, um, to normal shifting. All right, uh, heated seats. This one here is to heat the entire seat. The one on top is the backrest. You press it once for high, press it again for medium, one more time for low, one more time for off. All right, you got uh, the two front windows at one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. You do have turn signals in the mirrors. Just put down uh, both front windows. And they're power folding. Okay. All right, let's continue here. Let's see here. Okay. Up in the top here, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up in the top there that senses bright lights. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right hand corner of the mirror, you got a compass and temperature readout. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial of with the OnStar at no cost to you. Let me tell you some of the things that OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact, uh, attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. Uh, if you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour phone number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. If you have any other kind of emergency, press the red button. You also send it will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealership for your 90-day free trial. Up in the top here, you got your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program 
up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Map lights up in the top here. Your main glove box is over here. And then there is the owner's manual with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation as well as the original window sticker of over $53,000 MSRP. In the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got a little space here. This is where I usually put my phone. However, if you're going to open and remove it because it will fall back and you have a nice deep storage down there with another cigarette lighter adapter for your other chargers. All right, um, I think we're pretty much done up in the front here. So let's turn off the vehicle. Let's move to the middle row and rear row section so I can show you the other uh, options and details. Left rear door panel, same way, charcoal black with a wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. You stick your key in that little slot, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you've got little ones and you don't want to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To, uh, to set it back the original way, uh, take it off for adult passengers or bigger kids, just twist it to the right, and this handle will start working again. In the back of the center console, let me reach over here, uh, you got um. AC controls and radio controls for the middle row passengers. There's also video input, so if you could power it through a cigarette lighter adapter, you could watch it on your factory DVD player here. You do have also a cup holder here that pops out. And uh, you got AC vents here, one on each side for the middle row passengers. Integrated map lights onto the DVD. And you got another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. To gain access to the rear, the little ones usually just walk in between, but if you have an adult passenger, you simply pull up on this lever, the seat back will go down, it will lift them back up to the front, give you nice and easy access to the third row. This is a seven passenger vehicle, three in the back, and they all have over the shoulder belts by the way. Two in the center buckets and two in the front buckets for a total of seven. Alright, let's move back to the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape, they're not damaged or scuffed in any way. You get your parking sensor here, two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. A class three heavy duty towing package for all your towing needs with the electric connection right there ready to go. It is a flex fuel capable vehicle, meaning you put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents, uh, 30 cents less per dollar, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put regular unleaded or premium unleaded. Right rear tail light. Uh, rear wiper, inside of the wiper you got your um, Little orange lines, which is your rear, rear window defogger. To open up the tailgate, you can open it three ways. By simply squeezing the switch, like I just did on the tailgate handle, on your remote control, or on the switch on the overhead console right next to the sunroof switch. The Suburban is like, it's a long one. The one that has these uh, extra cargo space in the back here. So you don't have to remove the seat or flip them forward to give you nice and, uh, to give you space back here. Now those seats can be removed. It's a 50-50 bench seat, 50% on this side, 50% on, on that side. And there's several actions you could take. Number one action is pulling that handle over there and then the seat back will just flop forward and you can put stuff on top of it. If you wanted to go into cargo mode without removing the seat, after you pull up on that handle there, pull up on this handle here, the seat back will go down and then now the seat will actually lift from the back to the front and stay right up to the back of the center row seat. I can't show you because I got it's too far from here to reach here and I got my camera on the other on my hand here. All right to remove the seat after you pull up on handle number one the seat back will go down and you grab the center handle and you pull hard and the seat will come out and because they're independent from each other you can do one side and not the other or you could do them both and go into full cargo mode. You got another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. To close the tailgate you can do it three ways by pressing the switch here on your remote control or by pressing the switch on the overhead console right next to the sunroof switch. Alright, let's continue on to the passenger side. I try to cover as much as I can in these videos. If I miss something, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. My name is George. Right rear door panel, same way. Black, with or wood trimming. I'm sure by now you notice that the panels are not scratched up or damaged. None of the, none of the speaker covers are messed up. You do have anchors in here for your baby car seat. There are two on each side. So you can put your baby car seat on either one of these two uh, middle row buckets. Let's come around to the passenger front. All right, right front door panel, same way. These front door panels uh, have a little storage here in the side and a bottle holder. And like I said before, not only do you have a power seat, power reclining, and lumbar support in the driver's seat, but also as you can see on the passenger seat. Let's go ahead and pan over the seating area one more time. And when, then we'll conclude the video. 
All right, before we conclude this video, I'd like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, viacomax.net. Right on the home page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at viacomax.net.